because I talk a lot about permeability and vulnerability, letting things in, letting people in, having that atmosphere. And if you come at my atmosphere gently and with consideration, I will let you through. A bird can fly through that atmosphere no problem. Right? But a hurling meteorite coming at many, many thousands of miles an hour, it's going to burn up. So if you come at me hard and fast, my atmosphere is going to burn you up. But if you come at me gently and with consideration, I will let you in. So I, d I don't want to block anyone out. I don't want to block out the negative comments. I don't want to block out the positive comments either. But what I want to do... I want those comments to inform me and not define me. So if somebody gives me feedback on a video that is harsh, or I give a talk and they don't like it, or they buy my audiobook and they don't like it, and the first reaction is a primitive, primal reaction mediated by my brain. My brain says it's not okay that other people don't like you. And it immediately triggers this release of hormones in my body and triggers a release of emotions that make me go, oh no, I've done something wrong, I'm a horrible person. Now I've got to try to fix it to bring the group back together again. So that is the normal reaction of a human being. But we can learn skills to move beyond that, to move above that. And this is where informing rather than defining. Because if somebody says something bad to me and I say, I am a bad person, I'm defining myself because of that comment. It's coming in and I'm letting it define me. But if somebody says, You're, that video sucked, okay, well that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I'm not going to let that define me. But I do want it to inform me. And right now it's not informing me because I don't know, what, oh, your video sucked. Well, what does that mean? It's not descriptive. So I will respond. I'll say, well, what about the video didn't you like? And then that gives them an opportunity to be more specific. Okay, now you've given me some information. All right, well, I, I thought that, you know, your stuff on fat was stupid. Well, why? What about that information on fat uh, bothered you? Or, or where do you think it's inaccurate? So I start a dialogue because I want that comment to inform me. Okay, maybe there is something here that I can actually learn from. Let's find out. Maybe you've got a, a study or some information that I'm not aware of. Maybe I said that in a way that sounded condescending or whatever. Let me take a look because I, I want to make sure that you're benefiting from this. So rather than defining myself, I create a dialogue to get to the bottom of where that attack came from. Somebody says, I don't like you. Okay, I'm a bad person. I'm a horrible person. Nobody likes me. Or, okay, why? What is it about me that you don't like? Or what is it What is it that you need right now that you're not getting from me? So what I just saw, my brain sees in pictures. It, it takes words and turns them into pictures. It's, it's a curse. Anyway, I saw a hard surface and a rock coming and hitting that surface. And what happens when a rock comes and hits a hard surface? It stays there. It, it may bounce and it cause some sparks and cause some chips and do some damage, but then it's going to land there and stay there. But what happens when a rock hits a body of water? It causes this disturbance on the surface and then it just goes through, passes through, lays on the bottom, maybe gets washed downstream, and then the surface goes back to calm. And the rock is forgotten. The surface, you know, your experience with the world where you connect with the world is where the body connects with the air, well, I'm calm there. Sure, this rock has now become a part of my experience. It's now come into me. It caused a disturbance, but it has now come into me. It has informed me, given me some information. It, that is now part of me, but I let it in, but it no longer affects my surface. It no longer disturbs me. But when that rock hits a hard surface, it's there. It's a constant reminder. It's like a chip on your shoulder. You know, you're that hard shoulder with the thing just sitting there that just doesn't go away because you didn't let it in. If we just immediately defend against it and harden it up and say, nope, can't, don't let that in, don't let that in, can't touch me, I don't give a damn. Well, what if what they're saying has value? What if, first of all, it's not just maybe I'm doing something that's not ideal or it's inappropriate or it's ineffective or maybe it's hurtful. It's not just about being open to that. Okay, this person might be hurt by what I'm doing, and they're, they're attacking me. But even if that's not the case, 
this person is also telling me they're in pain for some other reason. Okay, they feel threatened for some reason. Maybe it's not anything I've done at all. Maybe it's something that's just going on in their life or with their belief system that's developed over the, the course of their life. Can I help them? See, if I don't let them in, then I can't be of value in their life. If they're going around in the world and they're in pain and they're, they're lashing out and attacking everybody in their life, you can say, well, he's just a jerk. You know, I don't, I don't let people like that into my life. Just, you know, just ignore him. Okay, but then there's this time bomb walking around that nobody's dealing with because they're all just hardening against it and pushing them away. Well, what if we let them in and say, okay, I don't think it's me. I've taken a look. I don't think it's me that's done anything here. So what's going on with you? And it's not about confronting them, but it's about asking questions to find out, okay, what, what is this story that you're running? Like, what is it that, that got you so upset? You know, what did, what did you say to yourself right now? What does this remind you of? Like, where is all this anger coming from? You know, why did you, why did you feel that it was necessary to make that comment? Because you can watch a video and think that was stupid and then just go to something else. But you actually stopped and, and typed out a comment. Like, why was it, it important for you to do that? And you can really start to, to find out, first of all, maybe you can help them, maybe you can't. But secondly, it gives you insight into how people behave. And so when you see people coming at you that are not capable of learning, you can recognize that.